All right, in this lesson, we'll see how to input the time and see the feedback on the HMI. You can see in this screen, we have this time entry as 15 seconds, and this is a feedback time. All right, the motor is at off, and if I press the start button, you will see this time will increase, and this will go up to 15 seconds, and when it completes 15 seconds, this motor is on. So this is actually my preset time, and this is the running time, all right? So let's see how we can create this application in which you have to feed the time from the HMI and we can read the time here. All right. So to do that, you might have guessed that in the PLC logic, we are using a timer. This is a T on block. And in the PT, I took the double register MD10. Okay, double register. Now if you see, this is 15 seconds here. So in the HMI, what you have to do is go to the HMI, take this um, IO field here. All right, we need two IO fields, okay? Now, if you want to write some text here, just for the information, I will take a text input and I can write timing operation in HMI, okay? If you want, you can also increase and decrease its size from here. Yeah, this is okay. So this, this field over here, this is our preset time. So I will write it pt okay and increase its size by 16 let's say it's okay then i will copy paste this one and i will write it as et which is my estimated time or maybe it's your running time whatever you want to call it so this et is here pt is here now you might imagine that if i go to my plc again this thing over here md10 this is your pt so you directly tag that with pt okay so this one you can tag it with your plc i will go back here plc tag this is md10 okay so this is tagged now you must notice one thing that in the plc this the default is it's written as 15 seconds okay but if i take here just one Okay, in my PLC, if I write one, in my HMI, you will notice as one second. But here, you can see some decimals. Suppose if I write 0 0.001, press enter, and here you will notice it is one millisecond. So how this is happening? In that case, if you go to your HMI, you have to define some decimals because the default input to the PLC timer is milliseconds, okay? So you have to take three decimals here, all right? If you notice here, let me extend it, you have three decimals. It means now if we enter one, the input will be 1.000, which will be one second. So if you're entering one in this input, it will be one second. If you enter 1.001, it will be one second, one millisecond, okay? So similarly in estimated time, now we have to give the tag now what is the tag for et we have to find out in our plc go to the program block and then to the system block where you'll find the database for the timer and here you'll find et so take its output and here again if you want to display the time in milliseconds and in seconds i would prefer you to take three decimals all right and now here, maybe if you want, you can write the time feedback is in seconds, okay? So that the operator will not be confused, okay? So this you can write a textual information here. So let's just download this one. Let me check the tag again and everything's okay. So when you download this one in your HMI, <coughs> this will do exactly what we started initially, what we saw initially, but with some more text, of course. So let me go back to my main OBI and here is my camera and okay so right now the PT is given as one millisecond so here it's 0 0.001 okay let's just change that to 5.5 so this will be 5.5 .5 seconds so here you can see that 5 second and 500 milliseconds okay so let's just run the motor now the motor will take the exact time and you can see the time here and it will be on after 5.5 seconds i hope this makes sense so this is the feedback we are reading all right now there is one thing i want to mention if i if i just click this one 
that shows this menu okay this is this is not required because because that was your estimated time this is not required so in this case what you can do is go back to your screen and double click this one and use this mode as only output okay so this will only display the value okay but this pt is this is your input output both it will read and write both values so this should be input output this should be only output now let's see the difference what we have when we change that mode to output you may not be able to change the value in et like before so this was necessary all right it's running now and here you see this is the same time when when i press, press this one nothing happens but here it is changing because this is input output mode if i press just four it will be four seconds in my plc if you just want to see again here you are okay if i enter here let's say 0 0.56 sorry This will be taken as 560 milliseconds okay the accuracy goes up to three decimals so if i write 4.445 this will be four second 445 milliseconds if you don't want this milli if you just want the you know if your time range is not in seconds it's only in milliseconds you can remove the decimal points and you can just put your milliseconds directly all right so this is up to you how you want to use it if you want exactly let's say one hour so you put 3600 and you can see in the plc it's one hour all right because the range is double so you can put one hour delay by writing 3600 seconds and here you can maybe write in the small in seconds so that the operator is not confused so i hope this lessons uh, this lesson is very beneficial for you to display the numeric characters and enter the value in the plc so let's see what we have in the next lesson. Thank you.